Hi, good morning everyone. This is Praveen working as assistant professor in Lakiradi Baladi College of Engineering, Computer Science Department. So today, we're going to discuss about compiler design. So in compiler design, we'll discuss what compiler is, so what is a compiler? So here, we'll provide a source input and finally we'll get a target output. So source input is provided to a compiler and we will get a target output. So this compiler is also called as a translator which translates uh, into human understandable format. Okay. So before explaining the phases of a compiler, so we will see what is front end of a compiler and what is back end of a compiler. So what is front end of a compiler and what is back end of a compiler? So this is so this is front end of a compiler and this is back end of a compiler. So here we provide a source input to the front end of a compiler and finally we will get a target output. So, in between front end of a compiler and back end of a compiler, we have intermediate code generation. So now, what is front end of a compiler? So here, front end of a compiler can also be called as analysis phase and back end of a compiler is also called as synthesis phase. So now front end of a compiler contains three phases, lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis and back end of a compiler contains two phases, code optimization and finally code generation. Okay? So in this way it is divided into front end of a compiler and back end of a compiler front end of a compiler contains three phases, lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, back end of a compiler contains code optimization, code generation, in between front end and back end, uh, we have an intermediate code generation and this front end of a compiler is also called as analysis phase and back end of a compiler is also called as synthesis phase. Now we will see phases of a compiler. Okay, so first we will provide source input. The first phase is lexical analysis and second phase is syntax analysis and third phase is semantic analysis. And fourth phase is intermediate code generation. and code optimization and code generation and finally we will get target output. Okay, so first we will provide a source input and finally we will get a target output. In between we have six phases, lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, intermediate code generation, code optimization, code generation. So along with these phases we have error control. And we also have symbol table management. So it is common for all the phases. So these are the typical phases of a compiler. So first we will see what lexical analysis is. So lexical analysis we divide into group of, uh, the source input is divided into group of tokens. 
So let us take an example here. So if we take C equal to A plus B into 5. So lexical analysis divides the source input into group of tokens. So first we will see what C. So C is an identifier. equal to is an assignment operator and plus oh sorry a is an identifier plus addition symbol b identifier and into multiplication symbol And finally, 5 is integer. So, this is lexical analysis. We divide the source input into group of tokens. Now, we will see syntax analysis. So, syntax analysis, we uh, draw a syntax tree or we call it as a parse tree. So, here we mainly depend upon L value and R value. So, L value is left value, R value is right value. So, C equal to A plus B into 5. So, here equal to is a root. So, equal to becomes root and L value is C and R value is A plus B into 5. Now, in this plus will become root and L value is small a and R value is B into 5. In B into 5, star is root and the L value is B and R value is 5. So, this is a, a typical syntax tree or a parse tree for the given input we have taken. Okay. And what is the problem in this syntax tree? Okay. So, coming next one is semantic analysis. So, in semantic analysis everything which we draw should be should have a meaning. So, here we are saying that equal is an assignment operator, C is an identifier, plus is an addition symbol a is an identifier, star is a multiplication symbol, b is an identifier, that is ok. So, coming to 5, here we need to say that whether what is 5, whether it is an integer, whether it is a floating point number, if I say 5, it can be an integer. So, 5 can also be written as 5.0, 5.0 will become a floating point. So, here we should specify, it should have a perfect meaning. So, here int to float of 5. So, into to float of 5. Okay. So, here this is called semantic analysis. Now, and the next one is intermediate code generation. So, intermediate code generation is we will take some intermediate statements like if I say T1, so T1 equal to 5, T2 equal to T1 into B, T3 equal to A plus T2 and finally, C equal to T3. So, here we will take some intermediate statements and we will construct a uh, intermediate code generation. And what is code optimization? So, code optimization is to reduce the number of uh, number of lines of code. So, here um, next is code optimization. So, in code optimization what I will do is, so here I will take T1 equal to directly I will write B into 5 and T2 equal to A plus T1 and C equal to T2. So, here I have reduced 4 lines of code into 3 lines of code. So, this is called code optimization and finally, code generation. And in code generation, here we will take instructions. Okay. So, R1 equal to move of b comma 5 r2 equal to mul of r1 comma 5 r3 equal to add of a comma r2 and finally mu of c comma r3 so in this way in code generation we will consider uh, different instructions okay so, these are all 6 phases of a compiler and in every phase we have error control. 
So if any error is occurred, uh, error control handles that. And finally, we have a symbol table management. Everything will be stored as a symbol. So these are the typical six phases of a compiler. So I hope you understood the topic. So uh, please subscribe to our channel. Please share our videos to your friends and well wishers. And please support our channel in all possible ways. Thank you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.